synchrosomers are the best in Europe. In fact, uh, as the sport is going to be included in the 1984 Olympics, there's a very good chance that uh, we might get a medal. Now, Britain's champion team is all from the Rushmore Synchronised Swimming Club, and I joined the girls to find out just how they train for their superb musical routine. The girls of the Rushmore Club are the top synchronised swimmers in the country. All eight members of their championship team have represented Britain, and last November they defeated every other team in the national championships with this prize-winning display. at the recreation centre, I was surprised to find all the girls at the side of the pool and not in the water. Every training session begins with a gentle warm-up, and I was quite enjoying limbering up until we came to the last part of the exercise. I have done the splits for ages, I don't think I can get down very far. Hang on. Do you do it from standing up or do it from the floor? Usually we do it like... Carolyn Wilson, who's a European champion swimmer, told me every muscle that's going to be used in the water has to be stretched. For safety's sake. Here's Edna. This is our uh, choreographer. Oh, hello, Edna. Hello, Sarah. Hi. What happens next? Well, girls, we've done enough of the warm-up, so let's go into the beginning of the, the routine. Take up the diagonal. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. Edna, I'm feeling a bit bemused at the moment. What exactly is going on? Well, they're walking the routine through as we've made it up. They're counting out every beat and they're checking patterns. Their arms are, in fact, their feet on that sequence. So that's when they put their arm up in the air like that, that is, that's their leg the, going up in that's the air. Right. What about when yes. they keep pointing now, these guns oh, all over the place? Now, that, that's their hands. But they, of course, know which is which. Why do That's you walk it feet. through, though, Edna? Why walk it through on dry land like this? Well, we have to walk it through on dry land because we're very short of water time, and in order to correct the girls and coach the girls in the water and move them about takes a great deal of time. The first thing you learn in synchronised swimming is sculling, and Edna introduced me to the club's coach, Curly so, Gray. Let's start sculling. Carolyn, so you know how... When you get on the sculling, you do a lot of work from the elbow, not from the shoulder. Oh, I see. As you see, Carolyn's doing a real lot of it from the elbow I mean, now. From here, isn't it? All this is still... Yeah, that's basically yeah. now. But it's, to, it's to, to get rid of any deficiencies early on. What about the water going in your ears the whole that's time? Other, that's, <laughs> that's good for them. Carolyn, like a true champion, right. made it all look see? very easy. She told me she started quite to learn to scull over 12 years ago, butter. so I'd got quite a lot of catching up to do. Right, Sarah. Firstly... Stand up straight, feet firmly on the bottom. Arms, yes, arms straight, out just below the surface now. And lower your shoulders, sit just a little. Hands a little deeper in the water. Now turn, lower the thumb on the outward sweep and lower the little finger on the inward. Finger, thumb. Really feel that force. You can now. But lower your shoulders in the water and sit just gently and bring your knees up through your arms. Gently, come on. Keep sculling. If you feel you must stop, don't stop. Keep sculling all the time. Put your toes up now. Push them up. Stretch your head back. Get your knees up now. Knees up. Very good. Keep sculling. Don't stop. Straighten out. Toes up. Head back. Keep sculling. Don't know it. Stop. The sensation is to stop sculling as soon as you feel that position. Head back. Feet up. Think of your feet and forget everything else. Right Curly there. was a very tough customer to please, but at last he was satisfied that I'd mastered the sculling technique, canoe. and now I had to learn the canoe. First you have to go into a front leg. So will you get face the end of the pool, just to the... That's it. That's, yes, please. And scull. That's it, down just below the surface. That's it. Now push your heels up. Now so your bottoms up. Straighten out. Keep sculling. Go on, arch away a bit. It depends, you're getting too good. Curly good, wasn't the only good, one no watching trouble. my every skull. The club uses a video camera to record the girls' movements so they can see at a glance where they're going wrong. Good. 
Right, Sarah and Carolyn, let's have a look at the video. Right, if we must. You see, in the layout position there, which you're doing first, your bottom is... Is it coming up to the surface? Just oh, about, you see? Yeah, <laughs> so. you see, you shook your head there. That's the thing you mustn't do. You must keep each part still. Right, heels are up. It doesn't look too bad. The video systems help the girl training tremendously. They all practice at least four hours a day, every day of the week, and discipline is extremely strict. It takes a minimum of four years to become a top Great Britain swimmer, so the girls have to be totally dedicated to succeed. Over and over again, they go through each section of the routine. It's vital that they're all in time with each other and their movements fit the music exactly. Watch the bottom, watch the sides. You've got to get a click and a click on those turns. Bad, really bad. You can really see the value of that, having the video now to get those formations and everything absolutely precise. That's right. And at this sort of level of coaching, it's essential that we do this. Do you think that from what I've learned so far, I could join in any of the uh, formations that you do. You can join in a, a basic sort of pattern routine. Yeah. Which is mainly lying on your back and moving into different patterns. That doesn't involve doing too many figures, does it? No. Because <laughs> I don't think I can manage those yet. No, no. I think we could just about, with what you've learnt, we could sort, sort out a small routine for you. Despite Edna's reassurances, I wondered just how I'd manage after my short lesson. There are 36 set positions in synchronized swimming with names like the flamingo and the bent knee dolphin. But the girls have one display which uses mainly sculling and the canoe, the anchor. The most difficult part was when we had to turn over and reform the shape of the anchor. From the surface, everything had to look smooth and unruffled. But underwater, it was a different story. Kicking legs everywhere. We'd managed it. A perfect anchor. The Rushmore girls really are dedicated, and they certainly deserve their title, Britain's number one synchro team. You have a good laugh, didn't I? It's a strange sport, isn't it? It's not strange. It's very difficult. It's I'm very skilled. Well, we're, we're, oh, yeah. It's we're willing to join in, well. aren't we? Yeah, oh, yes, there you go. <laughs> mm, yeah, well, we'll be back on Monday and we'll have musical youth who look like they've got another top ten hit on their hands. That'll be great. It'd be nice to have a nice ray of uh, Jamaican sunshine. <laughs> yeah, so well, we'll be seeing you before that on Friday because you mustn't forget to watch Jubilee because we're all in it 20 to 5 tomorrow. See you on Monday. See you then. Bye bye. bye, -bye. <laughs>